Hi, I'm Aresta Furi, and my research as postdoc was focused on the gut content of the two-spotted stink bug and how we can use this information to develop more effective pest management strategies. The two-spotted stink bug is one of the largest contributors to nut losses annually. These insects are predominantly controlled through insecticides, which are damaging to the environment. It is thus essential that we look at alternative control methods to achieve a more integrated pest management approach. For this project, we investigated two such factors of the stink bug that can be used for alternative control. Our first focus was to look at alternative food sources of the stink bug. These insects often arrive as adults in the orchards and thus they breed in surrounding vegetation. If we can identify these alternative plant species, these, can, these sites can be used for an earlier pest control or they can be used as trap crops planted around the orchards to reduce the number of insects that actually enter the orchard. For this purpose, we developed a detection assay that can actually detect the plant material in the gut of the insect. The second part of the project is focused on bacterial gut symbionts. Just like we as humans have a strong association with bacteria living in our guts, these bacteria can provide additional nutrition, help process our food, or even improve our immunity. Similarly, stink bugs also have a strong association with specific bacteria in their gut. And the idea is if we can disrupt this association, we can either reduce the viability of the stink bugs or even kill the stink bugs. For this project, we collected insects from orchards in Mpopo and in Pumalanga. These insects were then dissected to obtain their gut and then we extracted the DNA from these guts to identify both the plant material and the bacteria present in their guts. For the plant detection assay, we first had to determine the lifetime of plant material in the gut. Here we reared the insects on maize and then transferred them to macadamia and collected the insects at different time points. From this, we could confirm that after 24 hours, the maize DNA could still be detected in the gut. This provides an indication when insects need to be collected in the orchards and for how long we can still detect alternative plant material. From the orchard collected samples, a number of plant species could be detected, and many of these are also well-known food sources of other stink bugs. These can now be further investigated as potential trap crops. In terms of the gut symbionts, prominent bacteria were found in different sections of the gut. In the larger section, Sodalis was found, and in the M4 section, which is specialized for bacterial symbiosis, a Pantoa species was found. These bacteria were consistent throughout the different life stages of the insects, and they were also found in both provinces where insects were collected. This suggests a strong association between the stink bugs and their symbionts, and it's likely transferred from mother to offspring where the nymphs obtain it from the egg surface. Removing the bacteria from the egg surface would thus be a good target point for pest management of this insect. This project was brought to you as part of the Macadamia Protection Program at the University of Pretoria.